Good Sunday evening, meteorologist Jordan Young with you with your weather forecast for the week of October 17th. Our current water vapor loop in the tropics shows that they are relatively quiet. We are watching an area of disturbed weather near Cuba, but it only has around a 20% chance of developing over the next 48 hours. Here across the southeast, you can see we have a lot of sunshine right now as our loop loads there. An area of low pressure is moving off the coast. That's the area of disturbed weather we need to watch for tropical development. But most of the computer models keep anything off towards our east. So what we're left with is high pressure and control. Sunny skies and well above average temperatures. So here's the 500 millibar map on Monday afternoon. And you can see the ridge of high pressure across Texas. And we've got down sloping flow off the mountains. That's going to mean abundant sunshine and very warm temperatures. We're talking temperatures 10 to 15 degrees above average for this time of year. As we move into Tuesday, you can see that ridge really building into our area. And those temperatures are expected to continue to climb. With high pressure nearly overhead, we could see temperatures reach 15 degrees above average, mid to upper 80s in parts of the Piedmont on Tuesday. By Wednesday, that high pressure is beginning to shift off towards the east, and you can see a trough beginning to develop in the middle of the country. As we move into Thursday, that trough begins to sharpen as the area of high pressure shifts off the coast, another area of high pressure developing over California. And then as we move into Friday, there's that sharp trough of low pressure moving into the Carolinas. This will be the best chance of rain as the cold front also moves in at this time frame. And we will also begin to see temperatures begin to cool off. So how much rain are we expecting? Anywhere from a quarter to a half of an inch of rain is possible Friday into Saturday. Now this may change as we move forward in time. So be sure to stay tuned to WXJordan.com. I will keep you posted. But look at these five-day temperature anomalies. Anywhere in the yellow is 10 degrees above average for this time of year. And you can see that across much of the eastern United States. So here it is, your seven-day forecast for the high country. This is Boone, 71 degrees on Monday. Sunny skies stretching all the way until Friday. That's when we'll have about a 50% chance of rain. But look at that sharp drop behind that cold front. Mid to upper 50s is expected for the upcoming weekend. And as we move down into the Catawba Valley, 81 degrees on Monday, but look at Wednesday, 85 degrees. The average high temperature for this time of year is 71 degrees, so that is 15 degrees above average. As we move into Friday, cooler conditions are expected with clouds and showers, but we dry out for the weekend with temperatures returning to near average for this time of year.